So we're going to write the skeletal formula for C6H12. This is cyclohexane. It's also called the bond line formula. We'll do the structural formula too and look at the molecular formula. So we're given the molecular formula here for cyclohexane, C6H12. And the name cyclo means it's going to be a ring. Hex, we got six carbons in ANE, all single bonded. So we could put our carbons like this here. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six carbons. And you can see one, two, three, four, five, six carbons. And then we have 12 hydrogens. Carbon will have four bonds, always has four bonds. Easier to see over here. Carbon right here, we have one bond, two bond, three bond, four bond. Or one bond, two bond, three bond, four bond. Carbon always has four bonds. So that means each one of these carbons has one, two. We need to put two bonds, and those are where the hydrogens go, like this. It's a little bit crowded, but you can see we have our carbons, six of them, and if you count the hydrogens up, there'll be 12. If we want to draw the skeletal formula here for cyclohexane, we're gonna have our six carbons like this, all single bonded, but we aren't gonna draw the carbons or the hydrogens. So if we just take this right there, that's the skeletal or bond line formula for cyclohexane. So we have our six carbons, but we don't draw those in, we just know they're there. And since each carbon forms four bonds, we're gonna have two hydrogens here on each carbon. That'll make 12 total. And that's the skeletal formula for cyclohexane, C6H12. It's Dr. B, thanks for watching.